Hi. In this short video, I'd like to describe different options for mounting a child technology onto a parent substrate using ADS Smart Mount. Smart Mount allows for easy assembly of multi-technology designs. We can either specify an individual P-cell or an entire library of Smart Mount. It's best to do this on a library basis. So options, technology, technology setup. We're going to be using parts from this Mimic LNA library as our child technology. So show other technology tabs and nested technology. Notice the smart mount option subtype. We can choose bottom mount, flip chip, or multi mount. I prefer multi mount. This gives the designer the ability to choose at the time of placement how they want to orient the chip. There's advanced options under map layer and align for how the interface is treated between the chip and the parent technology. I invite you to explore the bubble help. This is a little bit out of the scope of this video, so I'm just going to leave this map layer and align set on automatic. Let's look at the four different mounting options available to us. This red box represents the chip. The red arrow is pointing to the top of the chip. So we can either orient the chip with the bottom surface on the interface layer. We can either flip it so the top of the chip is mounted onto the interface layer. And if we want to either mount the chip either on any of these internal layers or in this case on the bottom of the uh, of the substrate here, we can either again bottom mount or flip the chip. This orientation is controlled in the master substrate. So let's open up the master substrate and look at how this is defined. If I if I click on the, this top metallization, you notice there's options here for position above or below the interface. If it's positioned above the interface, the child technology is going to be mounted above the above the copper. Changing this to below the interface, in this case, notice the the metal, the top metal moves to below this this interface here, and now the chip would be mounted underneath here. So I'm going to switch this back to top interface and the chips that we want to mount on this bottom layer here are below the interface, so we have this already chosen for below the interface. Let's look at what this looks like in practice. I have two rectangles drawn here, two copper planes. This red one is on the, on this, on the top surface, on the top metal, this red layer. This blue is on the bottom layer. If I go into 3D view here, you can see the, the, the orientation of the metal planes here. Now let's open up our, our Mimic LNA library, and we're going to take the chip and drag it, and notice it gives options for bottom mount or flip chip here. I'm going to choose bottom mount and place it on this red copper plane here. If I switch to 3D view, you can see that the bottom of the chip is mounted to this top copper here. Right click the chip. There's options here for mount substrate or mount, I'm sorry, mount sub type or mount layer. We're going to leave mount layer on top, but mount subtype we're going to change to flip chip. Notice the part is already flipped for you automatically flipped for you. And if I go into 3D view now, you can see that the top of the chip is now interfacing with that top copper. Let's switch this back to bottom mount and move the chip over to this blue copper layer now. Notice if I go back into 3D view, the chip still thinks it's mounted on this on this top metal layer here so it's mounted 
out in out in air here. Right click the chip, mount layer, and change it to the bottom. Notice the chip flips again because now we're mounting it on the bottom, on the bottom, on the bottom interface of the chip on this bottom layer here. Go into 3D view and you can see that the chip is flipped, but the interface is still set on bottom. So the bottom of the chip is the interface layer. Lastly, we'll right click again, mount subtype, flip chip, the chip orients back and now and now it's the top surface of the chip that's mounted to the bottom layer here. So those are your four mounting options. Again, this also works on any internal layer of the substrate as well. Okay, hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.